I'm not calling you a slut. I'm calling you a girl who went over to a stranger's house at midnight. If only there was a word for someone who does. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Screw you! Sorry, I'm joking. You invited me here, just remember that. That's not quite how it happened. It doesn't matter. Look, how about we have some breakfast? I make porridge with wee smiley faces made out of bananas and they're not slutty at all. You know what? Save your porridge. I think I'm going to take off. But, you know what? Thanks for having me. It was lovely getting to know you. Have a nice life, Alex. Okay, well, I'm going to assume that time was on purpose because I told you like a dozen times my name is Alec with a C. It wasn't on purpose, so don't worry. You just have a stupid name. Okay, well, thanks. Bye. It was lovely having sex with you. I wish I could say the same. It sounded like you had a pretty good time last night. You know what? Don't believe everything you hear, especially when it's something like, Hey, Alec, cool name. I mean, is that the first draft of a name? Okay. Fuck you, Megan. Fuck you back. Fuck you, April. And fuck all your stupid bullshit. What are you going to do, Frank? Hit me to show how much you love me? No. I can't be bothered. You're not worth the effort it takes to hit you. You're not worth the powder it takes to blow you up. You're an empty. You're an empty, hollow shell of a fucking woman. Why'd you stay in my flat for if you hate me so much? Why'd you fuck me? What are you carrying my wind for? Why didn't you get rid of it when you had the chance? Because let me tell you something. I wish to God you had. Don't touch me. Calvin's life had been a bit of a shit show recently, but this was a fresh start. He'd taken two weeks off work to focus on his hookup game, and I am driving him to the Airbnb he's just booked the day. Are you sure we're going the right way? Looks a bit rough. I like it rough. I know. You said. It was awkward. If you tell your work I've taken time off. Oh, I told them everything. I bet you did. I don't give a fuck. My colleagues catfished me once. Catfished? Yeah, they tricked me into sending a picture of my hole on Grinder, And then they printed it out on A1 and stuck it up in the break room by the tea point. They wrote, milk? Question mark. You know, because a little dribble of... Oh. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Aye. 